I think it's a I think it's like a it's a blessing. It's a blessing to be around that. Yeah. Because it truly it's it's uplifting. You know, it makes you it just makes you weed out the circle. When you're around people that truly give you like uh give you some good, mm. serve a good value to you in your life, you then look at those that don't and you can you can then push away. So I'm big on I'm big on personality i'm big on energy i'm big on will and wants uh i believe that it's contagious so if you have a a bunch of laziness and a bunch of bullshit around you naturally it's going to feed off you're going to find yourself becoming what's in your environment so i can't say that i'm that i've witnessed the sleep patterns but he's a he's a late ass experts and stuff on it's always a, a thing that i go back and forth about because what is enough sleep like i'm a person i function high off of six to seven hours yeah six seven hours i'm i'm functioning yeah five hours i'm great do i do the five hour thing all the time no but if i have to i'm fine um i don't need the eight and the nine i feel mm. like that's too much for me like I'm, I'm i'm an early riser and now that i'm getting older you know if i can get in that bed by 9 30 or 10 on an off work day i'm very happy with that but then i'm up at 5 30. right i'm up at five so what is enough sleep exception definitely perceives reality you know uh what looks like so much isn't always so much because you have a schedule mm -hmm. and you know within that schedule there's the things that mean the most that come and act as downtime you know me in my house is downtime even though it's still active and i gotta be dad and i'm with the kids and the wife and this conversation and i'm running around and i'm back and forth that still acts as downtime for me like i'm shutting the work off so the phone is in the office i'm mm. not going back to get it until the morning and it's all conversation it's all tv it's all taco tuesdays it's couch and cuddling uh you know baby time whatever mm. that's my downtime because I'm, I've taken a step outside of the other shit. That's wise. That's that's what I think I do very well. I can step outside the other shit. I can separate it. So I think when you're able to do that, then you're you're managing your your mental. You know what I mean? Like if it's if it's always one thing all the time, that's how you fucking drive yourself crazy. Because you're never you're never shutting it off. Yeah. And I think I do a good job of shutting. Shutting this off and focusing on this. Like when I'm with my family, I'm with my family. Nothing is, nothing interjects or comes in between. That's a big one, right? Well, the phone, the phone is is the gift and the curse. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that we we shot out the gate and saw the gift. Oh my God, it's 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 community. It's connecting us. We're able to share. We're able to meet new people. We're we're able to stay in communication with with old people, find new people. As an entertainer, I can engage with my fans, and this is so dope. And then after that, you get hit with the the curse, and the curse is there's a there's a high level of negativity that's out there that's on that shit. You know, there's there's a lot of people that are, you know, not happy or or going through things and they interject a, a certain amount of negativity and hatred through these devices. Yeah. These devices are the easiest way to touch everybody. So when you're just consumed on that shit all day, you start to see yourself being a part of the negative shit. Yeah. So what I've learned to do is go, ah, I don't I don't need to see that. I don't need to mm. see that shit. I don't I don't pay that any mind. I don't read that shit for what? It's not it's not helping me. It's not making me better. It's not it's not uh pushing me to new limits. If anything, it's taking up just creative space by me literally spending time going and and, and navigating through what I think is is a bunch of bullshit yeah so i don't let the device beat me and at one point i definitely did at one point it was everything it was everything it was you know now i separated I know how'd you break it clear of it like what when you, you realize what it is when you see when you see the bad you know when you see the bad side of it i, I thought the other day this is some real shit and it really made me think my phone died my phone died and i'm driving and I was using the fucking maps. And I was like, oh shit. What the fuck? How am I get to where? <laughs> I 
I don't know where I'm going. And I sat and I was like, yo, how did we, how did we get from point A to point B before the map shit? What, what were we doing? That I used to print out directions from Google Maps. I remember that. But then before that, how did you get to the places where you were going that you didn't know how to get to? I don't even remember. Do you remember Thomas Guides? Did you ever have a Thomas Guide? I did have a Thomas Guide. When I first moved to LA, I had to get one of those. I did have a Thomas giant Guide. Ass giant map ass book. A hundred percent. Bill Burr. This is a time where you could speak up and talk about, you know, the community that's been affected by hatred and, you know, hateful crimes. You can step up and be a voice and say that you don't condone or don't uh, stand with any type of hate or whatever. You can take that stage and do that. And I said, Lee, I said, that's, I understand what you're saying. I said, well, why did you expect me to know what's been happening within this community in regards to hate and crimes? I said, I, I'm not aware. I said, some people can just not be aware. I'm not in the know. I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea. In the gay community. Yes, with, yeah. within that community. I have mm -hmm. no idea. Right. When you tell me this, I'm now educated and I understand. So it's easy to simply inform. Right. Information is key. When people get information, they process the information. When you can process the information, you go, oh, wait a minute. That makes sense. Hey. If you guys think that I condone hate, wait a minute. I don't. And anybody that does, fuck you, man. That's bad. You shouldn't. I can say that. But instead, when this happened, it was become an ally. Mm. Become a voice. Yeah. And that's that's where there was just a miscommunication. That's where a back and forth kind of was established that I think people just started to take things and run with it. And I'm just not, I'm just not one to feed into what I feel isn't going to eventually evolve into a positive thing. In a real conversation. Yes. Yeah. When I'm when I'm trying my best to. It's it's that's what's cool now. What's First, cool is being negative. You know how you always have some people. This is a great example. How you have people. Me and you can talk about a movie, right? We can talk about Titanic. Wow, man, Titanic, one of the biggest movies of all time. Fucking great movie. Yo, yes, it was a great movie. And one guy, for no reason, go, I fucking hated it. <laughs> you, why? You ain't like Titanic? Fucking bullshit. Why? Man, I ain't got, I know why. <laughs> now tell me, why, why'd you hate it? I ain't got time to talk to you about that. The cool thing is just being different. I want to I wanna be completely opposite than all these Contrarian. positive people. You know what? No, no, yeah. no. That shit was ass. <laughs> what? Why? Why? Uh. Why was it ass? You have people that just like to do that. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, and, and what happens when one person does it, another person for no reason all go, yeah, me too. Yeah, that shit was ass, man. I ain't, I ain't like it either. Did you see it? What y'all talking about? <laughs> you don't even know what they're talking about. But you just want to hop on the negative train. Right. Because that's what's cool. It's not cool to be positive. It's not cool to be happy. I don't know if it's a cool thing. I think it's usually people that are really frustrated with their lives. 100%. I mean, uh, like, that's the that's the what it takes to do this right here. <laughs> not much. Do you know right here? Yeah. I'm going to tell you how I feel right in your comment section, Joe Rogan. You can kiss my... You know what that takes? You, what do you have going on that you have the time to just simply be that negative and, and do it in this world and universe? It's just a mismanagement of your time. Time. Yeah, your time. time is so valuable. And, and I, I don't think people understand how valuable they can be if they use their time correctly.